Hey guys, welcome back to the Earth series. In this video, we are going to talk about 9.3 main process of the Earth. Let's start off by understanding the meaning of geomorphology. It is a scientific study of physics features of the Earth and their relation to its geological structure. There are two types of geomorphological process, which is the exogenic and endogenic process. Let's start off by talking about exogenic. The process occurs externally on the surface of the Earth's crust and is driven by exogenic energy from the sun or kinetic energy and potential energy from water, wind or waves. Withering erosion, mastication or land depletion, transportation and sedimentation is examples of exogenic process. Withering is a slow breakdown of rocks into smaller grains of soil by heat of the sun, frost, plant roots or microorganisma. If you look on the right, the picture of a rock is going through the action of frost. This is when frost freezes inside the cracks of the rocks, it expands and produces cracks that break the rocks into pieces. Next, we have erosion. The gradual diminution and abrasion of rocks surface trapped by wind, glacier, flowing water or waves. Mass depletion or land depletion happens when the downslope movement of the rocks and soil due to the unstable land structure under the force of gravity. This is also known as mass wasting. Next is transportation. This happens when the transfer of rocks from one place to another by wind, glacier, flowing water and waves. And last, sedimentation. The deposition or accumulation of eroded rocks to form a thick layer of sediment. Let's move on to endogenic. This process occurs beneath the Earth's crust and are driven by endogenic energy produced in the Earth's crust, such as gravi gravitational pull, convection of magma, or movement of tectonic plates. We have mental convection, magma activity, and Earth's crust movement as our example of endogenic process. Mental convection happens when hot magma continually rises up and is replaced by cooler and denser magma. This creates convection currents that possess endogenic energy. Next, we have magma activity. This happens when hot magma expands and cooler magma contracts. The expansion and contraction of magma produces strong endogenic energy inside the Earth's crust. And last, Earth's crust movement. The tectonic plates or tectonic sheets are huge sheets of crust that float on the asthenosphere. These moving plates collide and slide past each other to produce powerful endogenic energy. That's all for today. Since you're watching this, why not follow me on my Instagram and visit me on my blog. Thanks for watching. See you soon.